All right, I wanted to show you a trick here. Um, let's say you have a, uh, an, a um, multimeter that you want to, say, calibrate, or you want to make sure it's working, um, and you want to test its currents. So testing voltage is usually pretty easy. People have voltage standards and stuff, but not everybody has a current standard. You can use a voltage standard and a, and a high precision resistor and kind of do it that way. But here's a trick. So I'm going to put this on, um, on milliamps. Uh, so let me kill the room lights and see if that's any better. No, <laughs> sorry. So uh, I'll zoom in a bit. That'll be better. Okay. So we're putting it on milliamps and I have it connected. I have uh, it connected to measure milliamps and I have it connected to this voltmeter over here. Okay. And I'm going to put the voltmeter into ohms measurement. Now, how does something measure ohms? It forces a current and measures a voltage. And so here it's forcing exactly one milliamp. And so this is a pretty high precision box. And so it's outputting a pretty precise one milliamp. So you can use that one milliamp, check your ranges. And if you go through the different ranges of ohms, uh, let's see here. A lot of times they're one milliamp, one milliamp, and they drop down. There you go. That, now it's 100 microamps. So you can check your 100 microamps uh, scale. In fact, we'll flip it up here to microamps. There we go. 100.16 microamps. And we can keep going. Uh, let's see, I want to go this direction. Uh, there we go. 9.99 microamps. Uh, 5 microamps. And 0.5 microamps. So you can use your uh, you can use your uh, two DVMs with one another. So if you have two DVMs, then you can put one into ohms mode, and one in, into uh, current measurement, and you can use them together. Or let's say you're working on a circuit, and you want to have a precise uh, uh, a precise source. You wanted 10 microamps exactly. Well, there you go. Your, your, your uh, multimeter is outputting 10 microamps exactly, and you can feed that into your circuit and test it that way. So that's a really cool trick. Um, let's see, what other tricks are there? Oh, here's another trick. Um, a lot of multimeters have um, uh, diode measurements built into them, but m a lot of the old ones, in fact, almost all the old ones do not. But, 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 but that doesn't mean you can't measure diodes, so let me... Uh, let me find a diode here in my junk bin, all right? And um, I'm going to use this to measure diodes. And so let's disconnect this. And let's move that. And let's put some clip leads on it. All right, so um, I am going to uh, put the voltmeter into ohms measurement. I'm gonna measure the ohms of a diode. So this is a 1N914, and I'm going to measure the ohms, okay? And I need to set the correct range, and there we go. So if you set the correct range, then uh, the meter is outputting one, mi uh, one milliamp, and that one milliamp is flowing through this diode, and it's measuring 0.6 ohms. And um, really what it's doing is it's forcing a current to measuring a voltage, but then putting units of ohms on it. So this is really 0.6 volts. So you can use your meter um, in, in uh, ohms mode to measure diodes, all right? Now this one happens to have diode capability as well. And so there we go, same thing, right? It's doing exactly the same thing. It's just built into the meter to display volts instead of ohms, but it's doing exactly the same thing. Um, so a lot of meters have different um, uh, capabilities uh, for diode measurements and other types of measurements, right? So those are good, two good tricks. One is to use it as a uh, current source, and the other is to measure actual uh, uh, voltages of diodes if you don't have a diode function, like my, um, my Fluke 8842 does not have a diode function, but you just put it on uh, two kilo ohms, manual scale, and boom, you're right here. You're doing exactly the same thing. We go to, uh, to did the ohms measurement and right away 0.6 K ohms, well, 0.6 volts, right? So um, yeah, it's pretty cool. 
Okay, now I want to show you two tricks with the uh, Keithley, uh, Keithley 2000 or the Keithley uh, 2015. Um, and these two tricks are, are specific to the Keithley instrument, okay? So uh, you can skip the video if, if you don't have one of these. Um, so one of the tricks is diode measurements. I just showed you how to make diode measurements with a meter, um, either one that has it built in or one that uh, you use the uh, ohms function on. Well, this one goes a step further. So this has a diode function. So you, uh, uh, if you're measuring volts, you click shift, uh, little diode symbol, and now you're in, in diode measurement mode. Okay, so it's like everything else, you know, 0.6 volts. Okay, great. Um, but this one has an additional trick. Um, it has a range. It actually has a diode range. So if I, if I click it down, it briefly, it briefly said something. Okay, so watch when I go down and when I go up. It briefly says one milliamp when I went up. So now it's actually measuring the voltage drop of that diode at one milliamp. If I go down, it says 100 microamps. So now it's measuring the voltage at 100 microamps, which is 0.4. Now if I go down again, it says 10 microamps. So now it's measuring the voltage at 10 microamps. Um, so again, it's very, very cool. Um, it also changes the uh, compliance voltages uh, of how, how many volts it outputs, so you can measure um, things like LEDs and stuff. It actually has a 10 volt compliance, and so you can measure uh, Zener diodes up to, a, up to a 10 volt Zener diode uh, using this instrument as well. So anyway, so a lot of people don't know about the uh, ranging. So one, one milliamp, 100 microamps, 10 microamps. That's pretty cool. So that's trick number one. All right, trick number two is a little bit stranger. I've never seen this on anything before. Um, so this one has a continuity function. So you go to go to continuity, and uh, suddenly it said level. Well, it's like, ooh, what's that about? And you hit enter, and uh, it says open. And then if I touch the leads together. It beeps. And in fact, it's, it's a latched beep. It's a really, really good continuity checker, okay? Very, very good. I, I, I use this primarily for continuity stuff because it's so good at it. All right, so what was that thing when we first turned it on? Okay, so let's go back. First time you hit continuity, it says level. And what does that mean? I'm gonna hit up arrow, I'm gonna hit down arrow. It looks, I can change the numbers on this thing. What does that mean, okay? Why am I changing the numbers? So those numbers are actually ohms. It says that um, if you have less than 10 ohms, beep, and say it has continuity. But I can change that. Now it's 110 ohms. If it's at least 110 ohms, it'll beep. And it can go to 1,000 ohms. So if you're uh, uh, working on something and you just want to make continuity, but a lot of times when you're doing continuity, there'll be a resistor in the way or some other things that'll get you confused and stuff. Well, this thing allows you to pick whatever level you want to run the continuity check from, I think it, it I think it's from zero to a thousand. I, 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 don't quote me on that. You check, check, the, check your user manual, but um, it's definitely usable within that range from zero to a thousand ohms. It's really, it's just amazing. I have never ever come, ar uh, come across it before. It defaults to 10 ohms, uh, but yeah, it's, it's a really weird feature of this, uh, of this meter.